Jackson revealed the reason why he was unable to promote solo activities in Korea. Last month, the GOT7 members' contracts with TradeYP Entertainment officially expired. After seven years, all seven members of GOT7 decided not to resign with TradeYP and went on the different agencies to start a new journey. Although this does not mean disbandment, there have been a lot of mixed opinions surrounding the breakup between GOT7 and JYP. For fans of GOT7 who have followed the group since their debut and accompanied them through many ups and downs, the fact that all seven members left JYP make the fans happier than worried. Over the past seven years, the GOT7 community has repeatedly had to express dissatisfaction with JYP's unfair treatment towards GOT7. And in fact, just one month after officially leaving JYP, the GOT7 members started to become busier as they continuously appeared in various activities to meet fans different from when they were in their old company. Fans have more reason to believe that leaving JYP is GOT7's right decision after listening to what Jackson has shared recently. Jackson recently appeared on Get Real, a podcast talk show run by Dive Studio, and talked about a variety of topics. Among them, what caught the attention of fans the most was the real reason why he did not promote solo activities in Korea during his years under JYP Entertainment. Talking about GOT7's intentions for the new year, Jackson said, I'm starting to work in Korea this year. We just finished the contract with JYP but we're still in GOT7. We're still going to come out with songs, but this year, the majority of the whole year, everyone is just trying to prepare to do their own stuff. For his part, Jackson said he is preparing for a solo product, both English and Chinese albums. When asked if Jackson has been preparing for this product since he was still a JYP artist, the male idol gave a surprising answer. I started that when I was 23, I worked as a solo over there, I could work everywhere except for Korea. That was the deal, since the contract with JYP ended, I'm trying to bring everything back. In addition to his activities with GOT7, while still under JYP, Jackson had released many solo songs in different markets such as China. However, fans had rarely seen him promote in Korea as a solo artist, and this had made many Korean fans sad and disappointed. However, after GOT7 left JYP, the fans learned that it was not Jackson that did not want to promote in Korea, but because he was not permitted to promote solo since it was a condition in the contract with JYP Entertainment. Currently, when the contract has expired, Jackson has the right to promote solo songs in Korea and meet Korean fans through his personal activities. The things Jackson shared on Get Real shocked many fans. They could not understand why JYP introduced contract terms that could hinder the artist's development, especially since Jackson could grow stronger if the company knew how to promote him. Ignoring the unhappy memories under JYP, after listening to Jackson's podcast, fans were extremely excited to hear that the members are actively preparing for their solo activities. In addition, fans were equally excited to hear that Jackson can promote in Korea and is seriously preparing for his solo album this year. After leaving JYP, Jackson's activities are currently jointly managed by Team Wang and Sublime Artist Agency. Sublime Artist Agency is also the agency of another GOT7 member, Young Jae.